Hello, I'm Fred from Kahlo Studio. Kahlo Studio is a pro photo exclusive studio where you can buy, rent, learn, or discuss anything your pro photo. Today I'll be talking about how to separate your subject from the background. Once you've mastered composition, you're in the game. But if everything is even lit and you're not shooting a landscape, then it might come out flat or boring looking. I'm not taking shots at people who shoot exclusively natural light because there are many ways to use shade, shadows, and natural light to separate your subject from its background. I will focus on portrait photography with the emphasis on flash. Number one, depth of field. What is in focus and what isn't? How do you control depth of field? You can control it with a combination of these three factors. Focal length, meaning what millimeter your lens is, how close you are in relation to your subject, meaning distance, and aperture, meaning your f-stop number. The lower the number, the more wide open your camera is, giving you that softer bokeh. So for maximum bokeh, you have to be as close to your subject as possible while still being in focus, having the widest aperture and the biggest focal length that your lens allows. So taking that into account, your subject's position from the background is also important. You can't get that great bokeh if your subject is too close to the background because they will both be at a similar focus point. If you want your background and your subject exposed the same, that's fine. But if you don't and you're using flash, you have to keep that in mind. You have to control your light spill. Grids and flags are a way to control that. Shadows add another layer of separation and showing its position with darker colors. Rim slash kicker light. You can use this to highlight the subject. The different angles or feathering you can use to add highlights, glow, or to etch out different features that you want to stand out. It can also be used as a hair light. Color. You can use the color of the background, clothing, or lights to complement or contrast your subject. Color gels. You can use those to color the background or you can use it as your key, fill, or rim light. Exposure. If you have a flash, it's easy to have different exposure for your foreground and your background. Use your shutter speed to control your ambient light, meaning the constant light in the area. And you use your aperture to control the light of your flash. If you're shooting natural light only, it may be challenging, but it's still possible. You have to take use of clouds, shade, time of day, and use reflectors. Now I'll build with the light, mix and match some of these techniques that I talk about to get the look that I want. Here we go. Okay, that concludes my explanation of how to separate the subject from its background. If you have any questions, thoughts, or if I forgot to mention a technique, please leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video informative, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, see you in the next video.